Columbus Zoo and Aquarium Wild Lights are a sight to see every holiday year, but of the season, holiday season. But the past three weekends, boy, there's been a surge of visitors and it has caused major traffic issues for people who've been out there. So what's being done to make sure this final weekend before Christmas goes off without another repeat of these problems? TNTV's Carlin Dion on the case tonight. She's sharing what we know. As visitors make their way in to check out the wild lights tonight, we're told a Delaware County Sheriff's deputy will be on site to help with traffic flow. As the event has drawn in more than 20,000 visitors in a single day, several times this month. On Fridays and Saturdays, wild lights happens here from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. According to zoo officials, they don't have the legal power to direct traffic outside of the zoo parking lot. We're told Delaware County notified them back in November that they would not be able to provide special duty officers to handle traffic. However, the zoo does say they are are looking into if hiring a private company to help with traffic flow on Powell Road and Riverside Drive might be a legal option to look into. We spoke with one visitor who says he came here last weekend with his family and he waited in traffic for two hours before he was able to get out. There, there was a lot of things going on. We almost got hit twice. Somebody's car overheated. Uh, it, it was it was a lot going on that night and it was it was pretty bad. It's pretty stressful because we had kids and they were kind of upset so you know they can't do, you, they can only do so much with their phones and they were kind of losing their minds and tomorrow night we're told an ohio state highway patrol officer will also be on site to help with traffic flow and powell carly dion 10 tv news